In this video, I will be demonstrating the Aldoa postures for the lower six thoracic vertebrae in the spine. My name is Carolyn Zeff, and I'm an athletic therapist and osteopathic manual practitioner. The pain I want to focus on today is for people who stand for long periods of time at work. Some of the pain symptoms they may be experiencing is stiffness in the mid to lower back and maybe tightness or pain in the abdomen and pelvic regions. These lower thoracic aldoas created by Guy Voyer can help to relieve these tensions. These aldoas can also help to alleviate pain in the abdomen and pelvic areas by working to open up specific areas in the spine to improve nerve and blood supply to the subdiaphragmatic organs and viscera, small intestines, colon, kidney, and reproductive anatomy. To get the most out of your Aldoa practice, make sure you are well hydrated and perform a warm before doing an Aldoa. As you perform the Aldoa, keep your attention on your form, breathe deeply into the posture, and focus your attention on the segment in the spine you are doing the Aldoa for. Remember to move in and out of the Aldoa posture slowly, and if you experience pain while performing Aldoa, discontinue doing the Aldoa and seek out a medical professional's help before continuing. Sitting on the floor with the knees flexed, place the heels as close to the hips as possible. Press the arches of the feet into the floor and pull your heels backwards towards the pelvis. Keep the knees together, tuck the chin in, straighten the spine from the tailbone to the top of the head. Stretch the arms in a Y position overhead with the arms straight and externally rotated. As you push the palms of the hands strongly away from the body, you may feel a stretch sensation in the spine between the 7th and 8th thoracic vertebra. Sitting on the floor with the knees flexed, hip width apart, push the arches of the feet into the ground, keeping the arms straight overhead. Externally rotate the arms outwards, keep the elbows and wrists extended, tuck the chin in, push the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling strongly, and continually maintain an elongated position in the spine. You may feel a stretch sensation in the spine between the 8th and 9th thoracic vertebra. Sitting on the floor with one leg straight out in front and internally rotated, actively press the knee into extension so the heel raises slightly off the floor. Keep the ankle flexed. Invert and adduct the foot. This is also called pseudo-inversion of the foot. Bend the other leg with the knee pointing towards the ceiling and the arch of the foot firmly in contact with the floor. Tuck the chin in, keep the spine long from the tailbone to the top of the head. The arm on the same side as the bent knee is stretched out to the side, extended at the elbow and wrist. The arm is externally rotated outwards with the palm of the hand pressed away from the body. The other arm is relaxed with the hand placed on the lap. Push the extremities strongly away from the midline of the body. You may feel a stretch sensation in the spine between the 9th and 10th thoracic vertebra as you hold this position. Do this for both sides of the body. Sitting on the floor with one leg slightly abducted away from the midline of the body, strongly contract the knee into extension, causing the heel to lift off the floor. Bring the leg into internal rotation, flex the ankle and do a pseudo inversion of the foot. The other leg is bent with the knee pointing towards the ceiling and the arch of the foot firmly in contact with the floor. Tuck the chin in, keep the spine elongated from the tailbone to the top of the head. Using the arm on the same side as the bent knee, extend at the elbow and wrist and externally rotate the arm as you press the palm of the hand towards the ceiling. The other arm is relaxed with the hand placed on the lap. Holding this position, actively push the straight arm and leg strongly away from the body. You may feel a stretch sensation in the spine between the 10th and 11th thoracic vertebra as you hold the position. Do this for both sides of the body. Sitting on the floor with one leg straight out in front and internally rotated, actively press the knee into extension so the heel raises slightly off the floor. Flex the ankle and do a pseudo inversion of the foot. On the other leg, bend the knee and roll the leg outwards, keeping the outside of the heel in contact with the floor and the ankle flexed. Tuck the chin in, keep the spine long from the tailbone to the top of the head. The arm on the same side as the bent knee is stretched out to the side, extended at the elbow and wrist, externally rotate the arm with the palm of the hand pressing away from the body. The other arm is relaxed with the hand placed on the lap. Holding this position, actively push the straightened arm and leg strongly away from the body. You may feel a stretch sensation in the spine between the 11th and 12th thoracic vertebrae as you hold the position. Do this for both sides of the body.
sitting on the floor with one leg slightly abducted away from the midline of the body. Strongly contract the knee into extension, causing the heel to lift off the floor. Bring the leg into internal rotation, flex the ankle, and do a pseudo-inversion of the foot. On the other leg, bend the knee and roll the leg outwards, keeping the outside of the heel in contact with the floor and the ankle flexed. Tuck the chin in, keep the spine elongated from the tailbone to the top of the head. Using the arm on the same side as the bent knee, extend at the elbow and wrist, externally rotate the arm outwards, and press the palm of the hand up towards the ceiling. The other arm is relaxed with the hand placed on the lap. Holding this position, actively push the straight arm and leg strongly away from the body. You may feel a stretch sensation in the spine between the 12th thoracic and 1st lumbar vertebrae as you hold the position. Do this for both sides of the body. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe or follow me and share this video with a friend. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.